And coming out from behind the arches of the Columbia Railroad Bridge, we have Gonzaga's second Varsity 8 going up for their semi-final. Rowing in the 2V today. Stroking the boat is John Schoenwolf. Jackson Gillum's in the 7. Cass Bohm's rowing 6th. Brendan Healy's in the 5 seat. Trevor Dowd's in the 4. Brendan McCabe is in the 3. Johnny Roberts is in the 2 seat. And joining him in the bow is Winston Leslie. It's coxed by Big Rig Balsacek. Official results of we're looking for them at 9.55 in about uh, half an hour. Second to Absagami. And we can see them there heading up, uh, up the river after they've appeared from behind the island. The unofficial results of semifinal number one of the girls' senior doubles. First place went to St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. Second place to Penn Charter and Montclair took third. The next race is semifinal number two of the girls' senior doubles. Pine Richland is in lane one. Jeb Stewart in lane two. Ridgewood in lane three. Poughkeepsie is in lane four. Springside Chestnut Hill in lane five. And Bishop Ireton in lane six. This is semifinal number two of the girls' senior doubles. Top two boats will advance. And in Gonzaga's heat, which will be semifinal number two, we'll see Junipero Serra from California in lane one, Fordham in lane two, Gonzaga will be in lane three, LaSalle in lane four, TJ in lane five, and Lawrenceville in lane six. The top three will go to the finals, but you really want to be the top in the top two to get it inside lane in the finals. And actually, maybe our boys right there waiting for the uh, heat in front of them to get off so they can take their place in the stake boats. And there they are moving the over there. The next race is semifinal number one of the boys' second eights. To get into their stake. St. Joseph's Prep in lane one. Bethesda Chevy Chase and here the other race two. coming down now. St. Albans in lane three. St. Augustine in lane four, Paracera in lane one, Fordham Prep in lane two, Gonzaga in lane three, LaSalle in lane four, Thomas Jefferson in lane five, and Lawrenceville in lane six. This is semifinal number two of the boys' second eights. The top three boats will advance. And they seem to be having some trouble up there with the, one of the boats or something. We have a little bit of a delay. Interesting having three teams in white lined up there. Junipero, Sarah is on the far right. That's uh, Fordham in the middle and Gonzaga on the left in that shot. And after a delay that seemed like an eternity, we are on the water. Actually, in about five minutes, I think they were just uh, getting back on schedule. They were ahead. That's uh, Gonzaga on the left and Fordham there on the right. Seem to be moving out well and have already settled in. And they beat this field by about six seconds in the time trial, so you figure to see them near the front for most of the race. And a nice low rate. Using power and gaining speed. Uh, Hunapero there and Fordham and Gonzaga. Sal's over there. See Lawrenceville out there on the far left. And they are uh, past the bridge. They're still almost gliding along. Right up at the front with LaSalle. And the boats are still well connected. And they're kind of 
kind of all in the line. Nobody's really uh, out of it. Exciting finish. Top three. Now it looks like Gonzaga and LaSalle are ahead. See the two of them there. So it looks like it's picked it up. It might have poked just ahead of Gonzaga. Thomas Jefferson in lane five. They're also right up there. They both look like they're a little back, but actually Huna Perro is probably in good shape. And they uh, look like they picked up. Barn burner. Look at these boats. They're all on a line. We're coming into the final 350 meters. They're almost to the island. Fordham looks like it's fallen back, but the rest of the five are uh, competing for it. Right now, it looks like uh, Gonzaga and LaSalle. Junipero is actually right there. Perro is coming on over there in lane one. Right now it looks like Gonzaga and Huna Perro. TJ is making a run out there in lane five. And we're coming into the final 200 meters. Gonzaga is picking it up. It's Gonzaga and LaSalle right there. We'll see Hunapera coming across the screen in front of us in a minute. Gonzaga looks good. This is going to be a close finish. You see Hunapera coming by there. And it looks like it will be Gonzaga. And then I'm not sure whether it was Huna Peril or Sal, but those are the two going on. Yeah, it's a pretty tough semi. Nice job, guys. See you for the finals in the afternoon. Looking for that hammer trophy again. It's going to be a tough race.